Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we're going to solve another problem from the chapter Quadratic Equation. And the question is, sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meter square. If the difference of their perimeter is 24 meters, find the side of the square. Now, in this case, you need to know two things. One, when they mean what is the area and the second one the meaning of perimeter so if you know this then you will be able to understand the problem easily okay so let's just clear this off and i have two squares right so now since we have said the difference in their perimeter now let us understand what is a perimeter so if i'm talking about perimeter it is the walk around the path that's the simplest way you know to understand the meaning of perimeter which means if i start from here i'll walk this entire path once and it will be called as a perimeter for this figure i'll walk around these edges and this will be called as perimeter okay so the, that's the reason i have put a yellow color box which is slight a uh, yellow color square which is slightly bigger than the other one because the perimeter has some difference if it was if the squares were of the same size then the difference in the perimeters would be zero now since there is a value that is 24 meters i can consider you know that one square is slightly bigger than the other next is let x be the length of the bigger square and y be the length of the smaller square so now you will wonder that if it is a quadratic equation then we usually have just one variable but in this case i am already considering x as one variable y as another variable now would that be a problem uh, Technically, yes, because you can't solve a quadratic equation with two variables, but I will make sure that as we solve it further, we'll be able to nullify one of the variable. How is what we will see now. Okay, so we have just considered length of one square to be x, the bigger one, and the smaller one to be y. Now, if you consider this, then area of the bigger square will be side square right area of a square is side square so which means x square and perimeter will be four times x right that is four is the number of sides multiplied by the measurement of the size in this case it is x so perimeter will be 4x similarly the for the smaller square it will be area will be y square because the length of the smaller square is y and the perimeter will be 4y correct now so it will become they have given it in the question that sum of the areas of two squares sum of, one second sum of the areas of two squares is 468 right so okay so x square that is the area of one square plus the area of the other square is 468 this is my first equation and the difference in their perimeter will be 24 so 4x minus 4y will be equal to 24 now what i will do over here is i can take four common okay so it will become x minus y is equal to 24 let us take this 4 from here on the other side and divide it so it will become x minus y equals to 24 upon 4 which will become 6 after dividing so here i can write this minus y which is on the left hand side okay this minus y i can take it over here and it would become x is equal to 6 plus y okay so like this now here instead of 
this equation okay which has x square i can put instead of x i can substitute the value as 6 plus y the whole square correct so this would become substituting that equation 2 in 1 so instead of the value of x i have straight away taken 6 plus y the whole square now this is just like over here when i say this 6 plus y the whole square is nothing but a plus b the whole square with the expansion is a square plus 2ab plus b square so this would become 6 square is 36 plus 2ab so 2 multiplied by 6 will become 12 12 into y will become 12y plus b square that is y square plus the y square that was already there outside the bracket is equal to 468 so adding the same terms would become y square plus y square will become 2y square plus 12y as it is 36 is there 468 from the right hand side okay from here is taken on the other side so it will become negative 468 so this would become 2y square plus 12y minus 432 now this is a quadratic equation again 2 is multiplied throughout the equation i can straight away it's a multiple of 2 right all the numbers so i can just divide it by 2 to reduce that equation so that it becomes a little more simpler okay and it would become y square plus 6y minus 216 please ignore the sound of the rain this is another addition noise that i'm going to get now henceforth in my upcoming videos because initially it was the traffic now it is the rain too so kindly ignore that sound because i can't help it can't manage all these external factors okay so my equation would become y square plus 6y minus 216 now you already know three different methods to solve quadratic equations you can solve it and find out the value of y and once you have found the value of y after solving this it will be y is equal to this or y is equal to something else correct now after you have solved this you have to put the correct y equation second correct y answer over here and add plus 6 to it that would give you the length of the bigger square and that's it that is what you have to calculate in this problem i have not solved it so that you have to practice it and learn how to solve okay so that's it for now i hope you have liked and understood this word problem if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel most of my viewers on this channel are not subscribing to the channel but just viewing the video and going ahead ignoring it so i would request you to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out any more updates it's it's free subscribing is free it doesn't cost you any money so please do that and happy solving word problems till then this is Joel saying bye to you, take care and God bless.